Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Carl Strauss Brewing. And these guys are out of San Diego, California. Uh, my beer is coming out of San Diego now. Uh, this is their Peanut Butter Cup Porter. And this comes in at 5.6%. Brewed with cocoa nibs and natural peanut flavoring. So I don't know if they're using any actual peanut butter in the process or they're just using some kind of flavoring with this. Uh, it says here, drink good beer from here, California, or California is what it's got on the state here. So, uh, uh, commercial description on this, and they say it's uh, 30 IBUs. It says Carl Strauss and San Diego go together like peanut butter and chocolate. That's why we chose San Diego Beer Week back in 2012 as the perfect place to debut our peanut butter cup porter. So they've been doing it since 2012. Uh, it says here the decadent twist on a robust porter packs rich layers of smooth peanut butter and dark chocolate flavors. The lingering, slightly dry finish is sure to keep you going back for the next sip. Today, it turns out you really can have your dessert and drink it too. So, uh, I got this from Donovan and the guys out there at uh, Serval Liquors, CraftCity.com on the internet. Uh, I'm able to get some beers uh, from those guys out there and have them shipped out here uh, to Virginia. Uh, so I can try some of that stuff that is not available here. So uh, if you uh, want to try some of the beers that they got out there at Serval Liquors, uh, and they got a huge selection out there, guys, and they ship beers out. Uh, if your state allows them to ship beers, you can get right on the Internet and uh, uh, place your order. And as you, if your state allows them to ship beers to that state, they'll ship you a nice little care package, and you'll be able to taste some stuff that you probably can't get in your area. Uh, so, uh, and if you're in the San Diego area, drop by there and serve all liquors and tell Donovan and the guys I said hello. Alright guys, we're going to get into this one. This is a big 22 ounce bomber, so I've got enough to share with the other half. Uh, and while I get the cap open on this, I'll tell you, the food pairing is cuisine, is barbecue, Latin American, the cheese is an earthy Canberra Fontina. Uh, goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course. And the meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass for the plant back or not. Nonic mug, Stein Seidel. Let me stand this up so we can generate a little head. And, uh, you got a little bit on the back end there. And not recommended for extended celery since it's a 5.6 percenter. Um, about a quarter finger of head on that pour. Over to the light, guys. Uh, kind of dark up here, but I can see light through the thin part down there, guys. Looks like looks like a like a T down there on the bottom. I can see the light right through it. So uh, let's get the nose to it and see what we can smell. See if there's any peanut butter and chocolate in this. Oh yeah. Wow. That smells just like. A peanut butter cup. You get the chocolate, you get the peanut butter. That smells absolutely 
decadent as far as that. It's a perfect match for a peanut butter cup. I'm getting the chocolate and I'm getting the peanut butter. Wow, that's amazing how they can do that. Wow, I can't wait. This would be a great one to go with some kind of chocolate or peanut butter. Or if you had a Reese cup or a peanut butter cup, there are several different companies that make that style of uh, candy. This would go well with it. And being at 5.6, it's not going to knock you down. So a great dessert beer. Wow. That's unbelievable how they can do that. Not something I'd want to drink all the time. But a nice change up from your typical. And they're, and they're listening to this as an English porter. Wow. That's amazing. Definitely getting the chocolate there and definitely getting the peanut butter. That's absolutely fantabulous cold. It might change a little bit once it comes to the room temperature. But right now, that's pretty tasty. That's an excellent, excellent dessert beer. And like I said, being 5.6%, it's going to be kind of light on your palate as far as the ABV and getting you kind of uh, drunk, which you shouldn't be doing. That's nice. I would like to like to taste a, an imperial version of this or a barrel aged version of this. Uh, that would be very interesting. But it's right out of the fridge, guys. Let's pour her a glass and let me sip on this for a little bit and see where we end up. I'm liking it right now. Like I said, not something I'd want to drink all the time, but it is definitely a nice change uh, from your typical porter and stuff because this has got a heavy dose of peanut butter in it. Wow. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left. <clears throat> it was a very tasty dessert beer. I mean, the peanut butter and the chocolate is there. Uh, everything they say on the front of the, the label here is exactly what it is. It tastes just like a peanut butter cup. Yeah. It's identical to that. I mean, it would go very well with a uh, either a Reese's peanut butter cup or there are several other people that make uh, peanut butter cups that uh, taste exactly like that, guys. Uh, not something I'd want to drink all the time, but it's a nice change. Uh, change up from your typical porter or stout, uh, having uh, the peanut butter and the chocolate in there. So, very tasty. I mean, it's, it's exactly what it says it is. I looked on the bottle. And it has a date stamp. And it says 273, 2736. I'm um, thinking uh, this is done on the 273rd day of 2016. So, uh, ABV is on there. A date stamp is on there if you know how to read it. Uh, very hard to see with a dark beer in the bottle. Once it's poured out, you can see that date stamp. So, uh, very hard to see though with the beer in there. Final chug. Nice. That's a very nice beer, guys. Uh, to me, I'm giving this a B plus. Uh, numeric rating on this one would probably be an 88. That's where I'm going to put this beer. Uh, like I said, not something I'm going to drink all the time, but a nice change. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 80 in their score, which is in the good scale. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says 78 uh, overall. And for our final check-in, we'll step over to Untapped, and they have it at 3.85, which is their B-plus range. So, nice beer. Not quite to the A category in anybody's opinion, but... A, a nice beer, a nice peanut butter chocolate porter. Uh, so, if you've had this one from uh, Carl Strauss Brewing Company uh, out of San Diego, California, uh, their peanut butter cup porter, let me know what you think, guys. It's a tasty beer. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you think if you've had it. Come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something out of that fridge. See you then.